Hey guys, Mr. Rice here, and we're going to go over the Coder Z League uh, Basket Bot Challenge. Uh, that is submission deadline on Tuesday, so let's try and get as many points as we can in the meantime. So on your Coder Z page, uh, you can click on Play League, and then we're in the Coder Z League Junior, and we're doing Basket Bot Challenge. So you get 100 free points if you watch the tutorial video here about the challenge. Uh, I'm going to jump right into the challenge, though. So you'll notice there's uh, two sides to the arena here. You're on this side here, and there's three spinning colors with, like, buttons on them. And then there's three platforms of the same color here and a bunch of balls on top of them. So the goal of this challenge is in a minute 30, you're trying to push the buttons so that water comes into the platforms and then it tips the platforms so that the balls fall into your side of the arena and you score points that way. So you're trying, you have to hit that white button in the middle to stop these guys from spinning. And then you have to go to each of the colors to get the balls to fall onto your side. So to move to the white button in the center, uh, I'm just going to drive my robot forward for 1,500 milliseconds. And you can set the duration by clicking on the little blue widget here, and I just did set duration. I don't want to click set steering yet because I just want him to drive straight. So when I do that, the robot should drive forward to the white dot right there, which stops the spinning circles here which is good. Now I need to go to each of the circles uh, and then drive onto them to get the water to fall in and then tip the platform on my side. So I'm gonna now turn the robot to the color I want. So to make the robot turn, we go back to the movement. I'm gonna click select steering this time. And I'm not gonna do duration and I'll show you why in just a second. But to change the steering to 100 means the robot is going to turn. And actually, 100 turns him to the right. I want to turn him to the left because I've had more success with that in my experimenting so far. So I'm going to make him turn to the left at a slow speed because if he turns too fast, he keeps screwing up. Okay. So, and I want him to stop turning when he reaches the color that I choose. So I'm going to start with uh, this purple color here first. Um, your robot has two color sensors on it. So we're going to go to control flow. We're going to do a color sensor, which is wait until color sensor down at the bottom here. And you see how it says color forward. That's a color sensor that's looking forward. So it can read these little shields that are floating in the air. So the first color I'm going to do is this magenta one right here. So I'll just select magenta. And then I'm going to stop my robot from spinning. So just power is zero. So let's reset the simulation and see if this works. If I did it right, the robot should drive forward to the white dot, turn until it sees magenta, and stop. That's good to experiment. Okay, the robot goes to the center. He turns left because, like I said, it's working better to turn left for some reason. He sees magenta and he stops as he's facing that color exactly, which is perfect. So now we just need to make the robot drive forward until he's on the button. And actually, I'm just going to duplicate this block because it's literally the same thing. So I'm just going to right click and duplicate. Like so. Okay, and now we just need to wait on that block for, I don't know, let's say we're gonna wait for 10 seconds. So to make your robot wait, you click on control flow. There's a wait for 1000 milliseconds block. I'm just gonna attach that there. 1000 milliseconds is only one second. So I'm gonna change it to 10,000. You might wanna change it to something different though. Okay, and when he waits for 10,000, milliseconds or 10 seconds then he can go backwards so it's again the same block as my move forward block except for now i'm going to have a move backwards so now 
Let's reset the simulation and make sure this works. You should drive forward to the white dot in the center to stop these guys from spinning. You should turn to the left, because I found that works better, until he sees magenta, drives forward onto the circle, and look at that, water is now flowing into my platform, which is making the balls roll onto my side. My opponent is doing the same thing, it looks like. Now, after 10 seconds, my robot backs up and goes back to the center dot, and now I can just repeat my program. I'm gonna stop my code here. I'm just gonna literally repeat everything. And the only thing I'm gonna change is the color my robot's looking for. So I'm gonna look for green next. So we're going to make the robot spin. And then duplicate the color sensor block. But now instead of magenta, I'm going to select green. Yep. And once he sees green, I'm going to stop the motors. So he stops spinning. You probably don't need that, but I think it works a little better. The robot sometimes goes too far if you don't do that zero block. Then he's going to drive forward onto the green block. Wait for 10,000 milliseconds. You can see I'm literally just copying and pasting everything. After 10 seconds, he's going to drive backwards. Let's see if that works. If it does, then we'll just do everything one more time for the yellow. Okay, robot drives forward onto the white center circle. Turns left to the magenta, drives onto the magenta to fill my platform with water. Tipping the platform, excellent. Okay, after 10 seconds, the robot backs up, and now he's gonna spin to the left until he sees green. Look at that. Now it's gonna fill my green, beautiful. Mm, this is working real good. Look at all those points I've got so far. Gonna back up, spin to the left one more time. Oh, except for now, I just need to copy all that code again, but for the yellow color. Okay, so scroll back down. He's now on the center circle. We're going to spin to the left. Zoom out a little bit here. I'm gonna duplicate the color sensor block one more time. But now I'm gonna choose yellow. Boom. Once it sees yellow, we stop the motors. We make it drive forward for 1,500 milliseconds. And then we wait for 10,000 milliseconds and drive backwards. Oh, that's the wrong block. There we go. So now all three colors should be uh, hit when we do this. We'll start the code. It should go to magenta first, then green, then yellow. Okay, that's good. Goes, let's go to magenta. I don't really know how the computer, I mean, like, I can see the robot on the computer side of the screen, but like, it's not moving. So I don't know how the code knows to do that. Anyway, my robot's doing the right thing. Now it's going to green. I think it's random, the code that's going on the other side of the screen. Just a little frustrating because he's stolen my white balls now, or my yellow balls. That's fine. Now we go to yellow. So I'm going to fill up my side. So now my yellow platform is going to guide the balls into this side. There we go. Okay, and that's all the code I have. But you notice I still have 30 seconds remaining on the clock. So what I like to do is I'm just going to repeat all of this code. I'm going to go back to magenta. 
So just duplicate all of that code one more time. Uh, wait, where was I? There we go. So I went back to the center dot. I'm going to spin until I see magenta. And this should fill all of the time I want. So you can see I'm really just repeating my process here. Now, this is not the only way to solve this challenge. It is a pretty simple way, and it scores you quite a few points. You see, even with just that, five minutes of coding, I was able to get 200 points, which will be enough to move us on to the next round. So go ahead, try it on your own. Make some improvements. See if you can make it even better. I'm going to keep trying. Like I said, this closes on Tuesday. So we'll see how many points we can get. Good luck with it, guys.